<laughs> we were walking through the back streets of Kotohira and we came across this soapland. And if you know what a soapland is, you can go online, but it's a place where you go and you have uh, yourself soaped down and massaged by pretty young women. And here it is right out exposed in the middle of the street. So it looks like business is kind of quiet right now at the soapland. And we feel pretty clean, so we're not going to stop in there today. Well, actually, the, the, well, you, you know Soprano is a prostitution. I know it's a prostitute, it's a red light, uh, but I was trying to be okay. <laughs> subtle. Look at this place. Here's another soap land. They're usually rather ornate. You should be careful censoring Google's censorship. Well, that's what a soap urando. So that was the red light district yeah. of Kotohira. Yeah, and we just came across it by mistake. You, <laughs> you don't have to emphasize that. <laughs> well, I think George has one soprano, right? If you go to Tokyo, you go to certain neighborhoods, there's yeah. one on top of the other. In fact, there's that scene in that German movie uh, that I was telling you about with yeah, the Bouteau. Yeah, yeah. There's a great scene in the Soapland yeah. where this older man from Germany comes and he's trying to find some meaning in life and he goes to Soapland and he's totally disengaged even though there are these two girls who are washing him down and he's totally naked and they're totally naked but nothing happens because he's still in such a funk from the death of his wife. Here's a a little bit more upbeat area. In fact, this is the hotel that I stayed at, the Kotohira Riverside Hotel, in about 1998, 1997. I can't remember exactly which year. Just happened to come across it. It's right on the river. So it's very pretty. River. And this is the town of Kotohira in Shikoku. You see the mountains in the background. Very pretty, very quiet. A touch of old Japan. Udon, which is the thick noodles that you eat in Japan and that this area is famous for. If you want peace and quiet, I guess this is the town to live in. There's a welcoming cat, the Maneki Neko. These nobori or these decorative banners are from the Kabuki because of the Kabuki being in town this month at the Kanamaruza, which is located in Kotohira, the oldest kabuki theater in Japan, dating from the 1830s, so all the streets are decorated. Yeah, I see you. Pardon? I see you. Oh, oh. more of the... Foot water. Yeah. Foot I see you. Foot bath. <laughs> You can rest your feet from walking around. Hatsusuru Basho. Dango. Kind of dumpling. Have your photo taken. Bar mitzvah pictures. This is a Photographic studio. Really quiet here, and I would have thought that with all the tourists in town for the Kabuki that it would be more busy, but it's obviously pretty dead. 
There are other areas in town that are much more busy. This is simply a little bit off the beaten path. We've got great souvenir shops. All the trinkets you can imagine. Miyage, Omiyage, souvenirs. Yeah. There's some kabuki shirts. 1500 yen, 1000 yen. Nice stuff. Yeah. Problem is getting it home. And that's all for this section of Kotohira.